Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dylan. You guys are chilling with Dylan. Your boy's back with yet another banger. Um, yes, we got another unboxing, and uh, I don't know if you've been watching my previous videos, but it's another Nike SB. All right, guys, so if you did watch my previous video, I just reviewed the Nike SB Dunk Low Crushed DC Skate Shop. Um, that collab was amazing. Um, I did a full review over on the channel, so make sure you guys check out that video if you have not already. And if you've been watching my content, I've been loving Nike SB Dunk Lows. No, I'm not a skater, but I'm a super big fan of the SBs. I love the designs. I love the um, storytelling behind all of them. And honestly, they just come out with some crazy banger colorways. So I got another one for you today. So let us get right into this, guys. So label reads Nike SB Dunk Low Quick Strike, Dark Beetroot, and light crimson can you name what this is just by the label if you can make sure you put it in the comment section now before we open this bad boy and with that being said so let me just show you guys that label right there we got the nike sb label size reads 11 and a half by true to size and all nike sb dunk lows and let's open them because i'm excited for it. and here we go so first off if you watch my other one i picked this pair also up from goat I'm not going to get into the whole um, authentication and all that war that's currently going on between StockX, Go, eBay, all that stuff. I prefer GOAT. It's one of, you know, I, I haven't had a single issue with them so far, so I'm going to keep using them. If you, if you guys strike out on the Sneakers app or entering raffles, where else are you going to get them? You know what I mean? So you got to do what you got to do. I really wanted this pair, so I got them. In my last video... I was trying to find the best fall sneaker, okay? So I still think that the Crush DC Skate Shop um, SBs are probably one of the best fall sneakers you could possibly wear for this fall. It's got the brown, the gray, the orange. But coming as a, so, uh, a second close, I mean, you gotta put it up there. This is one of the best, cleanest executions of a Nike SB that I've seen in quite some time. I mean, this color palette is Honestly, it's a perfect full sneaker, but not only that, it just pops. I mean, first off, I love a good Chicago color blocking where you have the, you know, the leather panels right here that go up the eyelids all the way back down to the heel. I love when that's all the same color, and then you have the color on the mid panel, the toe, and also the heel. I just love that color blocking, and this doesn't disappoint. This, like, they call it dark beetroot. It's like a burgundy maroon type of color is really really rich in person really nice looking and it pops to be honest so let's get into this first off let me just show you guys this right so first off it comes with that dark beetroot laces and to be honest it, it's very hard for them to match the perfect color sometimes to like the actual panels the leather or even the suede like they used in this um but this one part matches perfect that dark beetroot lace right there and they also do come with um, an extra set of laces right here. It's like a light gray. It's not a perfect white, but it is like a light gray that matches the toe box right here. And also that corduroy tongue, which we're going to get into. But yeah, light gray right there. Also on the aglets, a really nice touch. It says skate like a girl. This is going to be really hard to pick up on camera, but it does say skate like a girl right there. And it's basically their logo. Inside the insole, it is also going to have Skate Like a Girl branding right there. And then also on the tongue, it says Skate Like a Girl as well. So it has their logo on the tongue as well. Also, when you go around the back of the heel, it also is going to have another nod to this collaboration um, with another logo, I believe, of theirs as well right here. So really, really nice touches all along this shoe. And honestly... But what really makes this shoe special is the materials, guys. The, the materials on this sneaker right here, really, really premium suede and new bucks, I believe. And also, it uses a corduroy. Um, so, I mean, really, really premium materials. I did put these things on already. I did try them on already. Um, man, are they comfortable. I mean, these things are super comfortable, too. Um, I will actually recommend, too, um, if you don't have any Nike SBs, it's going to be hard to recommend or sizing tips and stuff like that. But as for this, it, as you can clearly tell, this does not have the big standard puffy tongue. 
because it is a corduroy material. So this corduroy material on the tongue, it's in that light gray and it has the exposed foam on the top right there, which I really love, but it's all corduroy. So the inside, you're gonna get that nice dark beetroot and then that light, but man, if you could just look up close to that material, it's super, super nice. It really feels good to the touch, not only that, but when it comes to sizing, there's not as much padding that's gonna lock down the top of your foot um, on the normal puffy SB's um, tongues. So you might be able to actually fit a half size down if you're in between sizes and are like considering it. To me, I always just go true to size because you're never gonna wrong, go wrong going true to size, but they may fit slightly looser than what your normal SB's with the puffy tongue fit. That's all, that's my recommendation, so. You can use that with what you wish, but I went true to size. To me, they, they fit perfectly fine. So that's just a, a quick tip for you guys if you were interested in sizing. And then getting to the majority of the review section right here, you're also going to get this suede or new buck material on the toe box right here. Nice material, pretty soft to the touch. You know, it's not leather or anything, so it actually should be... I don't know, it might look a little funny when you're starting to crease these guys, but it should be okay. I mean, really nice premium materials, but it is going to be interesting to see how that toe box wears, um, if you are concerned about that. Going and wrapping around that toe box, you're going to get that nice premium suede or new buck in that dark beetroot. It's going to go all along the eyelids, run all the way up to the back of the heel as well. Really, really nice. Going to the mid panel, you're also going to get that light gray suede again. And let's talk about this Nike swoosh, because this Nike swoosh is also, I believe it's like an imitation corduroy material, but man, is that nice. Look at that. Really, really nice. Going all the way around. Nice pop. Um, the Nike logo is also going to be different. It's going to have a different font, which I think is awesome. Really helps the shoe stand out. And then one of my favorites, so you're going to get white. You're going to get a white... Um, midsole right here so white nice bright white midsole and then how can you deny a gum bottom guys so you got that beautiful gum bottom going all around the bottom of the shoe right here really really nice and then you're also going to get the nike sb pod right there as well in that dark beetroot but overall guys would you rather have these or would you rather have the crush dc skate shops um that i just reviewed previously as far as a fall shoe, what do you guys think works better? Do you like those or do you like these? I honestly think you can't go wrong with either. This is a perfect execution of a Nike SB Dunk Low. I love this pair. I mean, this one's obviously going to be staying in my collection. Going to be wearing the hell out of these things. Really love them. Nice material. Super comfortable. Um, let me know what you guys think about these things down below. I know that they did not release this year. I believe it was last year or the year before. Uh, but did you guys go for them on the initial release? Did you guys uh, circle back to them and hit up Go StockX or, or whatnot to try to pick up a pair? Do you guys even like them? Do you not like them? All that good stuff. Leave down in the comment section below because I love hearing you guys' feedback. I respond to all you guys, so let me know. Let me know what you think. I love them, personally. Great shoe, great execution. Can't go wrong with the Nike SB Dunk Low. And with all that being said, guys, my name is Dylan. You guys just chill with Dill. Like I said previously, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Really does help the channel grow. We're freaking surpassing that 1,000 subscriber mark. Let's do it within the next month. So by the end of October, let us freaking cruise past that 1,000 subscriber mark. Would really mean a lot to me personally. I mean, all the love and support you guys are currently showing is amazing. Also, like I said, please hit that post notification bell so you don't miss another one of these slappers. And that's it, guys. So like I said, my name is Dylan. You guys just chill with Dill. Me and the skate like a girl, Nike SB Dunglow. We're out. Peace.